Hey friends, we've got a really quick video tutorial for you here in GarageBand. We're gonna be showing you how to change the time signature in your GarageBand project. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so I am working on my MacBook. This is obviously the desktop version of GarageBand, but it's gonna work very similar on your mobile device if you're working from there. Okay, when you initially set up a project, there are a few defaults that the song will go to, including the time signature 4-4. Now, if you're working in your project, you're trying to adjust things, uh, maybe there's a beat that you're tapping in and it's just sounding super weird with what you want, it may be because your time signature is not in the correct timing for what you're recording in. In order to change that, it's actually pretty easy. We're just gonna come up here again to this display window and if you click on this timing signature, you can see that we now have the ability to shift it to something else really, really easily. Obviously the most common is 4-4, followed by 3-4 or 6-8, and that has that more of a, a waltz or a swing feel to it if you have that specific beat signature. So again, if you wanna change this, we can just come up here and click on the one we want. This will automatically adjust. Just remember that anything you have currently in your project is gonna to wanna to auto adjust to that specific timing signature. So you may have to re-record now that you have your baseline set up for what the project parameters should be. I'm gonna put this back to 4.4 and we can move on. Hopefully that helps. We're making a ton of these little garage band tutorial videos, so subscribe, hit that thumbs up button if this has helped, and we will see you again on the next one.